Hello and welcome back. In this video we continue looking at doing 2D graphics in Scala and we're doing it through the Java libraries the, using Graphics 2D. And we're going to look at another setting of Graphics 2D and this setting is called the, the stroke. So to illustrate this we actually need to draw something else in our picture. So I can... I'm going to do a draw here instead of a fill and this draw is I'll go back to you doing a rectangle and this rectangle let's see I'm gonna put it at an X of 50 and a Y of let's go with 250 and then make it 150 by 80 okay. and let's see what that looks like Need to say rectangle 2D. Now I'm using the same paint that I had before, so our gradient that we had over here is repeating, but you can see this comes out with a very thin line. Okay. And so what draw does is it draws the outline of a shape. And you might wonder, well, what if I wanted to make this line be thicker? I wanted to, to draw it with a more substantial. That is what you get with the stroke. So if we go back to the API of uh, our paint interface that we we're looking at in the last video, and if we go to one of the other sets here, there's a set of the stroke, and the stroke type has one main implementation that's provided for you, but it's it's very feature rich, so you probably don't need another implementation. Uh, it's called basic stroke, and there are a number of different ways that you can make it and the the longest of which allows you to set the width of the lines that are drawn how lines end it's called the cap how lines join together so when you have it, when you get to a corner uh, one of the options for joining is to use something called a miter where the lines on the outer edge continue straight and so it comes to a point uh, however, if the lines are very close to parallel, that miter could put could uh, point out very far. So there is a way to set a limit on that, and then you can also set a dashing on on this, so you can have a dotted line. So I would like to make it so that this line here is more substantial by changing the stroke. I'm perfectly happy with the uh, the paint that we're using. So if I just wanted to make it be thicker, I could set the basic stroke and set it to uh, 5F and basic stroke is in here so I'm going to add it to my import. And now if I run this again, I get a thicker line which is what we would have expected. Now what if I'd like to do something else more interesting? I want to change some of those other settings in there. Instead of just doing this basic one, I'm going to use the, the full length one. I want to set how things are capped. I want to set how uh, things join. Turns out the cap doesn't matter in, for this case because I don't have any open lines. Everything is joined together. I uh, want to set, and then I'll have to set the miter limit, and I want to make my line dashed. So the constants that we use are here. There's a cap, there are three cap settings. Um, one which just ends it kind of square right at the point where the end of the line is. One that ends it with a rounded end. One that puts a square cap on it but it extends out past the the formal end of the line by half a width. And for the joins, uh, right now we're getting by default a, a miter in there, uh, I want to set it to be join round. So let's come back here and first we have to give this our cap setting basic stroke dot Cap round, 
basic stroke dot join round and let's once again make sure that we're join underscore round cap underscore round okay we're good there and then I need a miter limit it really doesn't matter in this case because I have um, where as I said we don't really well we're not using a mitered joint um, and then I need to I want to give it some dashing so I want this this line to to be a dash line so how about and let's we want this we have to pass it an array of floats and this obviously looks a little bit different because this is in the Java API so it's showing us Java code but I want to create an array of floats here and how about we go 10 F comma 5 F so this is going to this says be on for 10 off for 5 on for 5 off for 5 so I'm making this kind of a, a dash dot type of line and for the phase I'm going to start at 0 what this allows you to do is to make it so that the original beginning of the line doesn't start right up here uh, so instead of being 10 5 5 5 if I were to set this to say 5 it would start halfway through this 10 that's on so if we run that whoop, I am missing a close parentheses looks fine. So what are we unhappy with here? Blank expected but curly brace found. So that's for that. So obviously I have a line in here someplace where I did not close off my parentheses properly. To admit, I'm not really seeing it. And this is the line that we were just editing. So the basic stroke ends there. And we have our arrays. Oh, wait, I'm missing the first error. That would. Uh, line 13, illegal start of simple expression the very beginning. Did I manage to do something? Six stroke round. To help me read this better. Oh, there it is. I had two commas and it was not highly apparent because it was on a line feed and there you go okay now part of the reason okay so it turns out that my cap choice here did matter because I capped things round and the dash dot uh, that matters for so how about instead of a cap round how about we cap with a butt or and actually yeah and now we get a much cleaner separation between things there. Okay, so that illustrates how you can set the stroke and the various settings that you get on the stroke. You really do have a lot of control um, with, with how you're doing it. It's an interesting side note that the way that this works when you do a draw is it actually takes and it builds a whole bunch of shapes and it calls fill on each one of these. So calls to draw actually go through the stroke and produce a whole bunch of calls to, to fill. So in a, in a fundamental way, the graphics fill is really the main method for, uh, for drawing things to a graphics 2D. So that's it for, uh, for this video, and we will um, come back next time. And 
We'll make this button do something in the next video to, to make this more interesting and then we'll talk about some other of the settings.